Uh, you put rum or bourbon in eggnog. Yeah, I knew... I knew the bourbon. Rum is disgusting. Excuse me, no. Uh, excuse me, yes. <sighs> okay. Do you want to talk about Sachimo's golden favorites, or should I just go to the next Sachimo's one? Sachimo's golden favorites. So, a lot of these are just like... Like, where did these come from? The first this first stack because these are ones that i literally pulled out of the garage like these weren't even in these these weren't even in the 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 good piles but um simon and gar oh, a very and garfunkel. beat up simon and garfunkel was in there <laughs> so that was Bridge over troubled water we could we could say that there's one that we have in common now also Whichever one the taller one is, <laughs> that is a weird picture. Uh, yeah, it is. They were kind of a weird group. Well, yeah. I think that's Garfunkel. Okay. Yeah, I think Art's the taller one. A tribute to the fabulous Dorseys. Yeah, that is Garfunkel. Also, I would love to know how much delay is on this. So if I announce these as I pull them off, it's going to be a second until you see them, I would think. Um, it seems like it's lining up pretty damn well. Okay. And then also tell me the orientation. Like if I do this with the stack, make sure you remind me to put it straight again. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know. That's pretty tough for you to figure out. I understand. <sighs> so this is my dad for you. It says, okay, yeah. side two. And side one has no good songs on it. So he just wrote, <laughs> okay, side two. And side two has a uh, landslide. That's it. That's it, that's it. That's it? Yeah, side one has Rhiannon, and those are the only two songs on here that I recognize. <laughs> Welcome to the Fleetwood Mac that's not Rumors. Oh, okay, this is interesting. Did uh, they? Did Fleetwood Mac ever make an album that was just like Fleetwood Mac and Cheese? No, but that seems like something Deep Purple would have done. It's something Guns N' Roses would have done. Yeah, but then it would have not been cool. I mean, was Guns N' Roses cool at all after their first album? No. Uh, okay, so Neil Diamond Stones, instead of being a gatefold, it... Okay, well, it's broken, but it folds off at the top, and the record comes out like this. Oh, it's a... what is that? Letterfold? I don't know. It's weird. I, it might be the only one of these that's like this. That was not even in frame at all when I did that. Uh, the other thing is, I think every single one of these is black vinyl. I don't think there's a picture disc or a color disc in here at all. No, not a one? No. And also... Probably every single one of these is made in Canada. Oh, they're they're all Canada presses, really. Yeah. Hey, there's Tom Cochrane and Lover Boy and and Boz Skaggs. Boz Skaggs. That's a name that I see a lot in records. I don't know who the fuck it is. Oh, uh, Tom Cochrane is empty. But has stuff on the inside. Uh, if anyone has a Tom Cochran and Red Rider, apparently self-titled album, um, you may have my vinyl for it. <laughs> if you just have a loose Tom Cochran and Red Rider. Um, I'm going to stick a few under here too stack this up because I set the focus to be a little off the table yeah Boz Skaggs um, 
There's a song called Jump Street, but it doesn't specify which Jump Street. And if I knew any of the actors that were in those movies, I could make a joke. Oh, like 21 Jump Street? I thought they were up to like 25 Jump Street now. I think they stopped after 22 Jump Street. It, it's Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum. Okay, thank you. Heart. Oh, this is uh, Magic Man. Crazy on you. Okay, yeah. So a lot of oh, these... Oh, that's the actual good Heart album. Yeah, a lot of these, there's going to be one album from a band, and it's the one good one. <laughs> <laughs> This is that's, like that's the really good hard album. Yeah. Oh, and it's uh, it's a gatefold with a shirtless dude playing guitar, and probably the same shirtless dude with part of his face cut off. Oh, there's shirtless dude. Is that? Yeah, that's in frame. Enough. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get it. Cool. How come there were never any shirtless women on the insides of these? No, wait, um, there were all the fucking time. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say if, if we <laughs> all the time if we pull the certain Rolling Stones album, we can get banned from <laughs> Twitch. <laughs> Nudity is allowed as long as you're not focused on it. Oh, okay. Like you when like when you're playing Cyberpunk or Baldur's Gate, you can go straight into the dick customizing as long as you're not like hyper focused on the dick customizing. Yeah. Well, it says that uh, you can't play BMX XXX. You can't play anything that's just porn. Yeah, but there's no nudity in anything but the GameCube version of that. I know. It, it's done. Twitch has some weird rules. Uh, here's the Good Cars album. <laughs> ah, yeah, look at that. Good times roll, best friend's girl, just what I needed. You're all I've got tonight. Moving in stereo. Yeah, they really, they really dropped all the bangers on one record. Makes it easy to collect. Yeah. Yeah. After they made the album, uh, they tried to take over the world. <laughs> that, I'm not even gonna go into that reference anymore because it's a fucking anime thing. You're not gonna get. That is some '80s right there. Is it a JoJo reference? It's another JoJo reference. Yeah. There's so much just, like, classic rock names in JoJo. Oh, I know. Because when people talk about it, I'm like, I pay attention. And then I realize they're talking about JoJo. I'm like, oh, yeah. For someone who knows about, like, old music but doesn't know about JoJo, it's, like, a surreal thing trying to figure Wait, out what they're talking about. Is this the the Jim Croce that you <laughs> mispronounced yesterday? Not when you're in the South, you fucking don't. And track nine is called Box Number Ten, so I might as well just break this one right now. <laughs> More Barbara we'll have to Streisand. Do that on we'll have to get like our least favorite music ever and just break it on stream. <sighs> See, I wish when you said that I I had a Steve Miller band or a Bob Seger that I could just pull out and show you and be like, you mean this with worst music ever? <laughs> It's, hey, look, it's premium Lars Ulrich. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that's a very artistic rendition. Yeah, I don't know any of those either. Billy Joel? Oh, is that Piano Man? No, it's Glass Houses. Oh, why isn't it Piano Man, though? Uh, because Piano Man is in with the good ones. <laughs> Oh, this is... Oh, never mind. This is sort of a good one. It has still rock and roll to me on it. Oh, yeah, that's something. I wonder if I can put his face in the glare. Nope, this this record actually won't glare. That's cool. I wish all of them were like that. Um, okay, so... <laughs> this has a sticker that says Hot Jazz on it. <laughs> I don't know. Is that going to be Twitch appropriate? Um... This this is legitimately an album. It's an it's an album that exists. No, like I mean, like 
Like, this is why it's called an album. Oh. Oh, that is like a full... Yeah. Oh, okay. Because these are 78s, that's why. Oh. Yeah, no, these are shellac. These are quite heavy. These are probably three times the weight of a... And they are scratched to shit. That's why I'm holding them in the grooves. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so we can add shellacs to the list of things that we found. <laughs> also, it'd be totally fitting if I dropped this and it just absolutely shattered on my floor. <laughs> you have a track record of dropping shit onto your floor and having it shatter all over the place. Oh, you should have seen the 105 inch tall pallet that I dumped last night with five minutes left in the shift. Oh, nice. What was in that one? Uh, mostly clothes. Which was well, okay. So, bad. so the clothes didn't break, at least. No, no, that's the no. I I smashed a box between two pallets and went. Oops! I hope that wasn't the fragile clothes. <laughs> at least it wasn't bubbles, bubbles. Yes. Which is also what this is. Yes. So. Yes, it is. This doesn't have Rick Wakeman on it, apparently. I don't know. I don't I I don't know any yes history, but um it has owner of a lonely heart and then like seven other songs that I have no Yeah, idea. I think that was like their first big breakout. Oh hey. Um the person that I wanted to show something to is here. So, quick detour. No, that's fine. No, the, the fact you have a fucking Eurythmics album is just mind-blowing. is a Japanese Black Album. So this is the Black Album, but it has the bonus tracks and stuff. And it came in this gigantic thing of CDs, and I have no case for it. Which sucks. Did you just find that at the pawn shop? No, uh, this was given to me. I went and uh, somebody was like cleaning out a trailer. And I grabbed a bunch of stuff and they're like, here, take this. And it's got uh, that Metallica album. I didn't know there was a special version released in Japan. Oh, no, there is for almost everything. Um, That's fucking awesome. Billy Holiday, Watershed, Opeth, which, Josh, if you're watching, I have an Opeth CD. And I told you that I didn't know what Opeth was, so that's cool. He's not watching, though. No. Um, that says Mr. Bungle, so I don't know what that is. Ramstein, Rodrigo and Gabriela, Queen Greatest Hits, which is my first CD I ever bought. Nirvana, Best of Alice in Chains, so I have Man in the Box on CD. The Shrek 2 soundtrack, that's probably my most played <laughs> CD ever. <laughs> Yungi Malmenstein, Children of Yungi Malmenstein, Lamb of God, Nirvana. Like, there's just so much crap in here. I don't know what this is. I meant to look that up. It has a um, a nuclear blast mark on it, so it's definitely some kind of death metal. But I'm Let me gonna see, see. I can find that quick. I'm gonna see if Google Lens can tell me what that is. Cause I put it in my computer, and it. Oh, look at this! Pictures of CDs in CD holders. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, I put it in my computer, and it wouldn't play. So I don't know what it was. Dream Theater, and then these two, which are, um, this one's a DVD. But this is the um, Smash Bros. Melee soundtrack done by the Japan Philharmonic Orchestra. What the fuck? Where, how did you even find that? Nintendo Power in 2002. I oh, don't. Back when it was really good. I don't know what this is worth. It is fairly beat up. But given how much Smash Bros. is worth, I would think it just has value by proxy. And this is the uh, promo dvd for the gamecube that came out at the launch of the gamecube that has the uh live action animal crossing ads on it and that is something oh those amazing ones yeah and also now 
for two streams in a row. These guys get mentioned. Um, I didn't know what this was. And so, and it's got a big hole in it too. So I put it in my computer and I'm like, okay, let's see what this is. The, literally the second track is No One Knows by Queens of the Stone Age. And I got, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> and sure enough, it's a Queens of the Stone Age album, but it has no markings <laughs> on it. And then the rest of these are all um, burned CDs. But <laughs> I was just like, why? Why do they Yo, keep is that, a, out? is that a zombie album? Yes. No shit. Yeah. Why don't let me borrow your fucking CDs. Oh, also, um, this is the bonus CD that was a Costco exclusive for the uh, series of unfortunate event books. Really? Yeah. So that, I don't think it's rare, but it's definitely one of the most unique ones. Uh, past, present, and future. That's is, cool. Is the um, zombie one. I can only find like a single person selling that melee music disc okay. and it's like a hundred bucks oh okay so yeah kind of worth something yeah Eurythmics um is that the one though that's what I'm looking at no it's not it's not it's not it's not sweet dreams what do you mean it's not sweet dreams I don't know it's oh it's be yourself tonight oh it could be alive don't know it's 1985 so if you look up if that's the release after sweet dreams then it explains why it's in here also this <laughs> tim buck three what the this fuck? absolutely blew my mind. okay if this had been the first time i had seen this record you would see one of the greatest breakouts for me ever because i lost my shit when i saw this <laughs> this song wow i actually know where the tape is that i'm going to talk about too uh this song is the first song I ever recorded off the radio and i listened to the fuck out of this because it was like the only song I had. And I'm like, I was, I recorded it off the radio. It was so cool. I had, nobody told me we had the vinyl for this. I found this in 2021. And what songs are on there? The future. So future. So bright. I got to wear shades is like, I would assume that's why it was bought. It is one of the weirdest songs I've ever heard. I've never heard of it. Yeah. Listen to that later. It is, um, it is a trip. And, oh, you know what? I don't know how well this is going to show up. Yeah, just hold on a second. That fucking jackass on his dirt bike again. Okay. This has never been played. It's really? Yeah. There is a thumbprint on it that I don't think I put on there. But... From... Get it forensically tested. Find out whose thumbprint that is. It's probably my dad's. It has never been played or it's been played once. And once you listen to the song, you will understand why it's been played once. You too. <laughs> Hall and Oates. Ecstatic. Oh boy, that's 80s. Okay, we can get that one out of here right now too. Um... Does this have a year on it? Oh, 1979. Okay. I figured that was going to be... I figured that... That just looked super 80s, but it's 79. And Don Henley. Hey, remember the Eagles? Yeah, I remember the Eagles and those really good songs they had. Um, This has Boys of Summer on it. Oh it, it a, oh, it has a song called You're Not Drinking Enough. That, that must speak to you on a spiritual level. Yeah, it probably... That could be my theme song if I listen to it. Though I was listening to <laughs> Die With A Beer In Your Hand last night, and that was... That's good <laughs> enough of a theme song for me. Oh, come on. Queen won't go back in. There we go. 
Okay. She's not allowed back in. There's one. can't rule over a nation. There's one for you, Joe Cocker. Ooh. Greatest hits. He's been doing that for a long time. <laughs> oh, no. Chilliwack. So this is probably the first, like, BC band, unless there was one earlier and I missed it. But Chilliwack, as in Chilliwack, the city. Communication breakdown, I think, is the, the big one on here. I haven't heard any of the others. I love it when you speak Canadian to me. Okay, well, here's Men at Work, so we're definitely done with that. <laughs> That also looks like it's been played once, but given the condition that the sleeve is in, I would think so. That is... I'm going to put this back, because that is really cool album art. It is. I have a fish mobile right behind the camera that is quite similar to those things. So that's cool. I might frame that one, actually. Wait. What? There's another Dreamboat Annie. <laughs> There's another Heart album. Yeah, but this is the same one. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. There is a very slight delay. Yeah, uh, Men at Work. It's a mistake. Uh, that's the only one I recognize. <laughs> But that's, I don't know. That's all right, I guess. You ever heard of The Fix? Uh, I mean, I, people in my town talk about The Fix a lot. I don't know if they're talking about the band, though. <sighs> <laughs> Come out! a good joke that was oh. that was a really good joke that's why i <laughs> oh man hey um, foreigner yeah i don't recognize any of these names of the band or the songs hmm. oh Wait, okay. So it ha it has all the track titles here, but then it says C label for sequence. So like did they put the track titles on but not in the order that they're actually on the record? What the hell? Huh. No idea. Foreigner. 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 I get it. Hey, hey look. It's Double Vision. There's two Foreigner albums. You have Double Vision, though? Yeah. And Foreigner. Oh, oh, the Blues Brothers. Okay, yeah. So there's there's four Foreigner albums here. I mean, is that a bad thing, though? Well, given that this one, it's Dirty White Boy and Head Games on it. And that's Double Vision. And this is... This has feels like the first time and cold as ice. Yeah, you pretty much got the essential foreigner right there. And this one, the one with the big four on it has Jukebox Hero, which is probably like the worst song. It gets annoying to listen to. Yeah, like even the first time though. The Blues Brothers. Oh boy. Wait. Paul Schaefer, Hammond, Oregon. So I'm going to assume that's Paul Schaefer. No shit. That movie had a ton of, like, star and musical power in it. I had no idea Paul Schaefer played the organ. Oh, yeah. On, on, on this thing. You know, I should probably watch that movie. You, you absolutely should. You would probably like it. The only thing I've seen is the penguin scene. And it made me laugh so hard, I, like, cramped up. Like, my back cramped. <laughs> and I couldn't Perfect. move. I was laughing so hard at that. 
because that's basically Marcus and I at work. We'll have to watch that when I eventually come over and do like a reaction video to it. We'll be discount red letter media. Yeah, but that's the thing is that's going to be like the first time that I ever watch movies. I know, it'll be perfect. I'll show you all of these amazing movies that you'll watch for the first time. Yeah. Don't you love little girls? Uh, oh, Jesus. Boy, you had me worried there for a second. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Oh, we lost two of the shellacs from the album. Um, I, I'm just waiting for you to go off camera, and then all of a the sudden there's just this loud shattering noise. <laughs> and I know it's going to happen. Oh yeah, no, if, if, we, if we stream enough times, it will happen eventually. Also, I should point out, this is on the standing desk that I made that doesn't have the legs attached to it yet. That's a good idea. Yeah. It's okay, because normally I keep the, the Commodore and it's CRT up here. Because those aren't fragile. He's such a fucking idiot. Shut it. BGs. With. Not staying alive. Ho holy crap. I don't know if you can see this, but there are 10 tracks on this one side. And oh, there, wow. are, there are 10 tracks <clears throat> on the other side. I don't think it'll show up, but those are very small <laughs> grooves and very small tracks. Those are tracks. only like probably two or three minutes a piece. Yeah, there's probably like a second of space between those That's tracks. That's wild. But that was, um, that was the 60s, man. It was make as many Had albums that with as many out. songs and try to get the hit again. I seriously thought this was Bon Jovi until I looked at it and it said Aldo Nova. I've never heard of this before. I don't think I've heard of it either. What songs are on it? Anything stand out? No. Oh. Look up Under the Gun and see if that's who this is. Because that might be why this album is in here. Uh, no, that's The Killers. No, not... <sighs> okay. Different one? Yeah, from 19... There's a lot of songs called Under the Gun. Under the Gun, 1982. I think that uh, this might be a one-hit wonder. Unless somebody else did a hit. No, you know what? I don't think that's it. I don't think it's the right one. Huh. Oh, man. If only there was somebody who knew something about music that could tell us who had that big hit called Under the Gun. <laughs> That you hear on the radio all the time. <laughs> um, the monks suspended animation. Get that out of here. What was that? Would you get out of here? Um, <laughs> Aerosmith. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this one has. Okay, so this could go with um, "I'm Afraid of Americans." It's called "I Don't Want No Reds," and "Don't Whoa. Bother Me, I'm a Christian." <laughs> perfect but okay so it has don't bother me i'm a christian and king dong and plastic max which i wonder if plastic max is steely dan's brother <laughs> uh, his cousin vital steve <laughs> Silicone Mike. <laughs> Silicone Mike. Oh, there's something I could think of that I'm not going to show on stream. <laughs> I know what you're thinking of. Hey, look, it's Queen, News of the World with... Oh, oh shit. 
the oh that is so creepy so that we is a weird so okay. i found i found a box at work that's called like jj music doll and it has a face that's like similar to this. <laughs> and one of the supervisors was walking by and I just opened the box for like a half second and then closed it and put it back on a pallet. And he just kind of like stopped. He's like, Neil, what, what was that? <laughs> it's like, I don't know, dude. It was something in a box. Okay. Uh, the News of the World has such a weird cover art that Family Guy's made an entire episode about that album as a joke. Yeah, that, um, a... I, okay, so on that Queen Greatest, <laughs> greatest Hits CD, it shows all of the uh, albums that it came from in the booklet, and I thought this was fake. Like, I thought <laughs> they, like, it was a joke or something. And this, also, this is a vertical gatefold. Because when you have it like that, you open it this way. holy shit yeah and we've basically gone through one box in half an hour so we might actually just hit all of these in two hours awesome um yeah john mellencamp rain on the scarecrow i think that's the only song on this uh if paper and fire was on here we could have both of the mellencamp songs that i know on the same record Um, this says, one of these lyrics says, I saw Rocky Stallone. I'm pretty sure that's not actually, Rocky Stallone. I'm pretty sure that's not actually what, how that go, how that works. Is there like a comma? Is there a comma there? No, the line is, I saw Rocky Stallone in an X-rated movie. Well, I saw Rambo Stallone in an X-rated movie. Okay, so we're going to go from Thomas Dolby, Blinded by Science. <laughs> Have you seen what's underneath? Yes. Yeah, to fucking Abbey Road. <laughs> wow. All right, there's there's the most zero to 60 moment we're going to have in this whole thing. Wow. <laughs> Is that like a first press? Oh my god. Uh, it's not in a sleeve. So Ooh. I'm going to fix that right now. But it's yeah, also. Yeah, you might want to get that into something. It's also in really ass conditions. So, like. Um, it was. Oh, stupid Aerosmith, is it? Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to put it to the side so that i remember to put it in a sleeve later but yeah it's it's yeah, take, you might want to take care of that one um it's i would say it's in a moderately played condition but the fact that it's still abbey road vinyl is something i knew that was in there i just didn't know where it was that's awesome God and Butterfly. In another... Okay, so either it's supposed to be sideways because the gatefold opens like that and it's the right way up or somebody screwed up printing this. Oh, boy, it's hard to tell. It was an artistic design choice because the butterfly is technically, no, technically that's the right way up. Yeah, I don't know. What the fuck is that? That is Manfred Mann's Earth Band somewhere in Africa. Remember, I, da I have... remember Daft Punk? Yes. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, was that like early Daft Punk? No, this is just like unfortunately they came first otherwise i would say this is extremely discount daft punk but yeah that is that is something i uh don't know about that it looks like something hey little river band yay i don't know who that is but i know that you have one that's not this record 
There's uh, a oh, there. Here. That's the one you have. Is that? Yeah. This has also never been played. Or played once. Nice. Oh, no. I can't think of any other big songs off the top of my head. <sighs> what? It gets really bad after this one. I just read the spines of what's coming next. Oh, oh, oh I can't wait. <clears throat> the best part, Mill. <clears throat> <laughs> okay i'm gonna have a hot take here greg i think pyromania is a pretty good album greg greg <laughs> who the fuck is greg i don't know i wonder if that's um greg lake of emerson lake and palmer no oh, maybe let's find out It sure is. Okay, cool. Gino Vanelli. Gino Vanelli. Yeah. I'm. I'm so bad with names. I, I'm sure I know who this is. Okay. Also. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh, get it off the screen. That's wait. What songs are on that one? Um. Burning down the house and girlfriend is better. Yeah, it's a pretty weak album. Yeah. I have I think I've told you this, but I already hated the talking heads. And recently I got more reason to hate them, but I can't tell you why on stream. Oh, there we go. Speaking of worse Oh god, right in my ear. Do it right into the microphone harder next time, Nil. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Also, Wait, you just, you almost blew out my fucking eardrum. What, when I said worst music ever? No, you did that really excited, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you just keep doing it. Okay, this has actually got some decent music. Which one is that? I couldn't read it. Um, Stranger in Town. But it's got Hollywood Nights, still the same, old time rock and roll. And that's pretty much it. I wish I knew more about these older groups. Yeah, well, don't start with researching Bob Seger. You won't get anywhere fast. Oh, hey, it's time for me to go to work. Except not today. Fleetwood Mac, Tango in the Night. That's a really nice looking album. Yeah, it is. I had no idea this was a thing. Wow, that is cool. I wonder if that's a black vinyl. Yes, it is. I bet it's never been played. So my dad. What, what thing... is what is a black vinyl like you keep talking about? That. It's just standard black vinyl. Oh, like it's. You just mean it's not doesn't have any colors or. Anything? Yeah, if if I oh. could if I could pull out one that was different, like I know a few that are, like they're like red or green or see through or something like that. Oh. So, um, my dad did a thing. Wait, Little Lies is Fleetwood Mac? Is it? Yeah, I didn't know that until literally just now when I, it says, it tell is. me lies, tell me sweet little lies. And I hear that with the Todd Howard voiceover talking about Fallout. Yeah, I know. That's immediately what I go to, too. Yeah. Anytime I hear this song, I just start thinking of fucking Bethesda games. It was on at work, and I rolled up to Corey, and I was like, are you picturing Todd Howard right now? And he goes, yes. I'm like, all right. This is why we're friends. Oh, that's amazing. So, uh, what my dad did was he bought these records, recorded them once 
through a really good stereo onto really good cassettes and then just use the cassettes. So, oh, cool. so a lot of these where I, that I'm saying they've never been played, they've probably been played once. Uh, oh, cool this is a uh, private dancer. Not familiar with it. It's a, it's a Tina Turner song. It's not very good because it's Tina Turner, but. Oh, if we had viewers, I would catch flack for that one. I was going to say, you're, you're opening yourself up for, for trouble. So, you know Simon and Garfunkel? Sanford and Townsend? <laughs> yeah. Smoke from a distant fire. That's what you're getting right now. Yeah. Yo, it's not even so distant at this point. Yikes. All right. Thanks, Nell. You're Thank welcome. You. Oh, this is going to be ZZ Top. ZZ Top? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> is that the ZZ Top? Yes, this is ZZ Top, and I missed the joke. Is that, oh, is that the one with, with Dirty Mountain in it playing? No. Oh, this has I Thank You on it. And Manic Mechanic. That was on the radio last night. Or a cover of it was. Oh, it says Cheap Sunglasses on it. See, I didn't excitedly go. owe into the mic. I restrained myself that time. Okay, um, this one's from an album called Mushroom Records. Somebody asked me earlier about psychedelic rock, and uh, yeah, but it's Heart Magazine. Is it? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Huh. That that is a that is an album art. Okay, here you go. You, you like you like what? you like vaporwave? What? <laughs> what the hell? As Joe Kaufman plays Bach. Well, now that he's Bach, he can leave again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! It's... <laughs> so stupid. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was. <laughs> it's also Mo Kaufman. It, it it's that thing where it's in that stupid font that you complained about yesterday. I've got so many albums are in weird fonts. Microsoft Office would have a field day back in the 70s and 80s if it were around. Okay, do you know what a perfection is? Like the the, the children's game perfection? Uh, not by that name, at least. What put, do you do? Put the pieces into the slot. Something, 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 something. You're racing against the clock. Pop goes perfection. That was the ad uh, for it. Oh. Yeah. Yes, Genesis loved that thing so much. <laughs> they made an entire album based on that. Also, the tenth track on this is technically called "Produced by Genesis" with huge <laughs> with Hugh Padgam, <laughs> and it's copyright Phil Collins Limited. Uh, yeah, there really only was one part of Genesis, and it was Phil Collins. Wow. Oh, this one's sweet. Good joke. Yeah, Rolling Stones double album. Jumpin' Jack Flash. Oh, Paint It Black. Ooh. Okay, so... Oh. Cool. This has painted black on it. It also has "Get Off My Cloud," but I don't think I've ever heard that before. Do you really want to be on the is, cloud that the Rolling I think, Stones are on, though? Okay, 
I think this is the back and the, no. Unless I flip this over and this is pieces of eight. No, it's not, it's Rolling Stones. The Sticks, or just Sticks, also did an album that was kind of like this. Yeah, that whole thing's in shot. Get One Mick... of those things is not like the others. Yeah, Mick Jagger's eye is right in the seam. So you can <laughs> you can you can do some strange <laughs> things to Mick Jagger. <laughs> Uh. Oh, this is you too. The unforgettable fire. So, apparently, as I have heard from people who know more than me, you two's albums were intentionally mastered like garbage. Really? To sell live tickets. Uh, I mean, I can see that. So a lot of these Dinner. YouTube albums sound like ass. Now, is this a compilation or is this... Ah, oh, it's a compilation. Because if that was pronounced Leonard Skinner, I was actually going to be really happy. Leonard Skinner. <laughs> Gold and Platinum Band. Oh, wow. That is a really cool one-line drawing. Or mostly one-line one drawing. It, all it can't of, be a one -line. All of this looks like it is. It's not... No, stuff's not connected. Oh, all of that. Yeah, like all of... Yeah. Like, there's a couple breaks, but like, here, his hair goes into this guy and this guy goes down here into this table which is connected to this which is connected to them and there's some dude over here with a cup that says toot 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 uh, oh, wow it does look like that yeah give me it's got give me three steps what's your name free bird <laughs> free bird that smell <laughs> simple man how does it not have Call you know, Me The Breeze on it? You know, I've lived around that smell for so long, I really don't even smell it anymore. Have you ever heard Call Me The Breeze? I don't think so. It sounds like it was mastered in a garden hose. <laughs> it is the weirdest thing. Like, you'll be, you'll, you can listen to a bunch of Skinner. Um, and... Then Call Me the Breeze comes on and it sounds so different. Apple wine April wine. April Apple wine. wine. Jesus Christ. April wine. That's more that's Canadian, but they're probably Ontario, so. This has Ua tonight. Come hear the band. I mean if I didn't know if that was an April wine song. What the hell? Okay. Let me get this one out. Hang here. on, for I I want to make fun of you for something though. Can okay. you say the word garage again? Garage. Okay, no, you said it weird the first time. You said garage. I said garage. Garage. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Here, here's a question for you. That thing that you go to to watch movies and sometimes productions, what's that called? Cinema? No, the other word for it. A theatre? <laughs> okay, well, at least you didn't say theater. Theater? <laughs> but that, that's how it's pronounced. Uh, no, that's how it's written. It's written yes. theater, but it's pronounced theater. Oh, yeah, the theater. Okay. I thought you were trying to make fun of calling it theater. No. Do people actually call it theater? Yeah. I know someone who says theater. Who the fuck calls it theater? Uh, people in the south. Theater. Oh yeah, God. Oh God. Yeah. Joe Jackson. What? Wait. Okay, hang on. You saw what Is I that did. Michael Jackson's father. I don't know. You saw what I did when I put this stack down, right? When I flipped it over. Yes. 
Look at this. So do you have check, copies check this of out. If I flip this entire stack over, it's the other side of Houses of the Holy. <laughs> what the fuck? Why do you have two? I don't know. Why do I have one? That's a great problem to have, though. Oh, fuck. Houses is a good album. Eat shit. <laughs> okay. You really want to go it, there? No. If I could find... There we go. Okay, Dancing Days, Dear McCure, No Quarter. Jermaker. Oh, that's how it's pronounced? That's how it's, how it's pronounced, it's Jermaker. Oh, cool. Song Remains the Same, Rain Song Over the Hills, Far Away, The Crunge. No, I don't know any of those. Well, you should fucking listen to them then, don't you think? Oh, uh, maybe I should. Oh, there's Sweet Dreams. Yay! You hang on to that one. Yeah. I mean, I love BDSM Woman and the music that she made. Dude, she was so attractive. Have you ever heard her? I don't know. Maybe I've you I'm ever, just like, heard her in an interview? Yes. Yeah, it's... Oh, man. I love that. Like, that thing that um, Getty Lee in interviews is just, like... If you listen to a ton of Rush and then go watch any Getty Lee interview, it just screws with my head man really like i'm one of those people where like um i associate faces to voices uh-huh and so like when i hear getty lee talk i don't know who it is really and it screws it screws me up well it used to be but now that i've listened to so many rush interviews i know that but there's somebody at work whose voice is so close to somebody else that i know that whenever she talks, I turn around because I think that person's there. Wow, and I, I still haven't worked that one out of my system. So sometimes she'll say something to me. I'll be like, I'll turn around. I'm just about to say, when did you start here? And then I realize that it's the person who's worked there for like two years, but never talks to me. Huh. That's crazy. Yeah. And same with like um, sportscasters. If I've never seen their face... I know what they look like in my head. So when I did get cuts to them on screen, I'm like, who are those people? <laughs> That's so weird. I, I mean, the opposite. I associate uh, faces with voices. Like you look at someone and so, you should know how they sound. No, I recognize people's voices before I recognize like who they are physically. Oh, that's interesting. Um, more Red Rider. I don't know any of these. Hendrix. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Smash hits. He's wearing a cowboy outfit. I mean, it's Hendrix. He could wear whatever the fuck he wanted. Uh. And he did. Yep. <laughs> Boy, did he ever. Boy, did he. Purple Haze. Fire. Wind Cries Mary. Hey Joe. Crosstown Traffic. Foxy Lady. All along the watch. Yeah, okay, that's just... They might as well have just called that Bangers. Bangers of plenty. <laughs> yeah, Hendrix had a lot of really weird, really not great stuff, too. Yeah, like Little Like Wayne. Zeppelin! Wow, that is a freaky looking cover. It's the Alan Parsons project, man. What, what would you expect from a guy who went and recorded like 70 different clocks individually and then gave it to Pink Floyd? That's where that came from? Yeah. Okay, so when you had this yesterday, I thought this was Piano Man. And I was like, I was like, dude, it's Piano Man. It's Piano Man. Well, no. It's not Piano Man. It's weird. Oh, and, okay, I recognize it now. I yeah. never looked at the other side of that album. I only knew that side. <laughs> yeah, the the rest of these are... I mean, I don't have to say what that is. Okay, so what did this have on it? Stairway to Heaven. No, not Zeppelin IV. The oh. <laughs> not Piano Man. <laughs> Oh, it had all my love. Okay, yeah, that's what I think. That's my dad's favorite song, so that's why this is here. 
Oh, I that's that's one of those annoying songs. It is annoying, yeah, but it's good. Yeah, it, yeah, it's good. Not I'll, like I'll, Stairway I'll to Heaven. Hmm, yeah, if you say so. <sighs> that's in really good shape. <laughs> no shit. If <laughs> okay, I see your point. If if that's like a first press, then that's worth like six hundred bucks. If you can look up the oh. Well, oh wait, never mind. I was going to say it's not in there, but it is in there. It's just weird. If you can look up the serial number that this should have, if it's a first press, and tell me what that is. Because I wrote down the one for Dark Side. So when we eventually pull Dark Side out of here, I can check and see if it is one of the very good Dark Sides. Oh, let's see. Version 1. Oh, boy. Yeah, this... Uh, okay, Google um, SD7208. Let's see here. Wow, that is... SD7408? 7208. 7208. That has been played once. That is in incredible condition. Stairway to Heaven. Okay, it's track four on side one. I was going to say, if, if Stairway to Heaven was a B-side, what the hell? All right, that one's not quite as crazy, but I mean, in really good shape, you're still looking at like 170 bucks. US? Yeah. 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 Battle of Evermore is pretty good. Oh, there's the lyrics to Stairway to Heaven. Stairway uh, to when Heaven. the Levee Breaks is also really good. Oh, I love When the Levee Breaks. So... You listen Me to Me too. All of the people start screaming and drowning. It's just wonderful. Um you've heard Judas Priest Nostradamus, right? Yes. The last track on that is basically when the levee breaks. Is it really? At the at the beginning. The the drum intro is when the levee breaks without any effects on it. And this is I'm going to have to listen to that after Houses of the Holy again. So, there's more than one house of the holy? Yes. That's why the album is plural. <laughs> so, you oh. literally have houses of the holy. Okay, I just noticed this from the spine alone. <sighs> the whirl. So, interestingly, the CD has the pink splatter all over it that says the title and this doesn't yep yeah mine doesn't either ass <laughs> <laughs> oh oh man my brother would love that album oh uh, it's a double album and i can't get either of them out <laughs> One for each cheek. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, those are in there. I'm going to assume they're in perfect condition, though. That's so cool. It's more BDSM woman. I mean, she looks a little more BDSM in this, with the black leather face mask. And the fact that the album is called Touch. Oh, this has Here Comes the Rain Again. That's also a Eurythmics song? Yep, I didn't know that. Holy shit, I didn't know that! Yeah, I didn't know that until I was, like, 25. And I probably heard it, like, a solid hundred times. I I oh, thought yeah, it too. sounded like Eurythmics. And then I looked it up just to confirm that it, that it was. When I'm, when I'm hearing it in my head right now, yeah, it sounds exactly like it. Uh, there's the fix. I don't know, the Eurythmics did such like huge changes between the sounds on their albums like they tried every genre yeah okay it's 11 um i'm gonna go quickly grab two things oh okay yeah. Right, yeah yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're getting into uh we're getting into bangers territory here so i'm gonna go grab something real quick oh god i wish i had your collection If you're expecting your loud crash, this could be it. 
I'll keep my fingers crossed. Okay. I have these framed. I was going to take them out of the frames, but these frames suck <laughs> so much. That's so fucking cool, though. This is a gatefold. And inside of it is all the pictures of the casino burning down. Really? Yes. But, like, because it's a gatefold, this corner of the frame is not in at all. Neither is this corner. So it's essentially only held in by, like, five or six tabs in here. I hate these frames so much. <sighs> They've got to make better stuff. Well, the thing is, these aren't made for gatefolds. So you can't, you literally could not put a double album in one of these frames. And that's totally my fault for buying these and not knowing. And this one is just a standard sleeve and it fits in perfectly. But yep. this art is so good. Like, if you Why can... do you like the artwork for that, but you don't like Journey? Oh, no, it's because Journey sucks. Boston's like... This is one guy made this. Like... Ah, oh, that just blows my mind. Where the guitar is just the spaceship. Yeah. And then they used that for, like, the whole rest of it. There was a label on here that's covering up Afro Man's name. But um, I just love that it's Barry, Tom, Fran, and Bradley. Bradley. <laughs> uh, so who's missing? Sib. That's the guy in the middle. That was the Sib. Sib. That was the drummer. I don't know like hardly a thing about Boston. Okay, I'm so glad Boston. you said that because I know so much about this. You know so much about Boston. Tom Scholes wrote all the music for this. He was working at Polaroid. He wrote all the stuff. And then basically was like, screw it. And just put it on a tape and was like, if nothing happens with this, whatever, I'll work a salary job the rest of my life. And the tape that he put all this stuff on was... I think it was more than a feeling, long time, and peace of mind. And those are like three of the biggest songs of the 70s. Yeah. Like, yeah, absolutely. Like, long time <clears throat> is one of those songs. Well, technically, foreplay, but it's one of those songs where I can listen to it an infinite number of times, and every time I do, I get the chills when I listen to that. Like, really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's so cool. God, do I have any songs that are like that? I have like ten, and I, I also probably have three of them are on Machine Head too. <laughs> <laughs> very, very true. Uh, like, uh, no, two of them: Lazy and Pictures of Home. The rest of them are all like, like maybe I'm a Leo is extremely good, but it's like, it's I mean it, it's an S, but I don't know if I don't know what it would take to get to a double S song, but long time is pretty close take away my soul is another one but i don't have i'm not gonna have a vital of that um that's the uriah heap album from 2018 that i said to go listen to oh yeah yeah that's actually a really really good album really yeah God, i don't know anything about uriah heap either you don't need to you just you i literally just, just told to you the music. everything <laughs> No, I, like, seriously, go, uh, look at, um, Living the Dream is the album, and Take Away My Soul, Knocking at My Door, I think that's what it's called, and there's another one that I can't pull the name of right now, but they also have, um, Discount Hot for Teacher on that album. Oh, they do? It, and it's like... It, it's it's almost like they tried to skirt the copyright because they don't... I think they say teacher once in the song. <laughs> and 
and they talk about like being in a school and like lusting for the teacher and stuff like that and like they make as many references to it as they can and the song sounds really similar so i don't know it's kind of it's kind of weird this is the first led zeppelin right uh i think that's zeppelin no no it's not I think that is the first one. Yeah, because Good Times, Bad Times is the first song. Yep, yep. Yeah, that's also in perfect condition. Damn. that That's so amazing that you have that. Like, I've... I've the, all the stuff I found yesterday, all those old Beatles albums and stuff, I have looked through the vinyls at... Oh! Oh, yeah, let me share the story about that. I'm sure the world would love to hear that. Go ahead. So yesterday I went to the thrift store in town, uh, and for like the first time ever, I found some really cool vinyls. It was like early presses of the first three Beatles albums, uh, and then like a bunch of Elvis. And as I'm going through it, I'm looking through these, and I'm seeing all these Elvis vinyls, and I'm like, huh, back when I worked at the uh, nursing home, there was a woman there who really loved Elvis. I bet she would have loved these. And I'm looking through and I pull one of the CDs back and there's a name label on it. And it's for the woman there that I used to work with. So she's absolutely dead. And yeah. now I have her vinyls. <laughs> Which is really fucked up. That's your severance bonus, man. It's my severance bonus. You got nothing when you left that place. Uh, I got experience and a whole lot of resentment for my coworkers. Did you like her? Or was Ooh, the Elvis lady? Yeah. She was Oh god. She was pretty cool to be around when she first got there, but she had some rapidly progressing dementia and she got yeah. very very sort of You can't even say annoying because it's not like they can help yeah. it. But she told me the same story about her daughter being a marine biologist at least two dozen times, and I yeah. really got tired of hearing it by the end. So it wasn't Miss America? No. No! Oh, God, no! No, not... I, I can't use her real name because HIPAA violation. I'll call her... Uh... Miss America. What's... Miss America? Yeah, I'll call her Miss America. No, she was named after a state. Oh. I'm trying to think of another like female state name that would work. Virginia, or no? Um, that that yeah, I remember that one too. Virginia. Um, no, I, I just cannot get over the fact that you messaged me that she died, and it was the third. It was the second <laughs> third or third of July. Of July. <laughs> it was the third. I remember specifically. It was the third. That's when the world started ending. By the way. Oh, I know. I know. That was that was the <laughs> great thing. It's like, we're in the midst of everything going to shit. And then I woke up and I saw that. And I looked, and I was like, it took me a little while to realize what day it was. I think somebody said it was the 3rd of July. And I just looked up and I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, then, I can't wait to tell people these stories. The other person's reaction was just so great to that, that I like, I literally, like, sprinted to my phone. <laughs> uh, yeah, Animals. Remember when I asked you to name the songs on Animals? Yes. And you said pigs, two of them? Yes. There's three. <laughs> no, there aren't. No, there are not. No, there's pigs, pigs three different one, and then pigs part two. No, there's pigs on the wing, part one, pigs yeah. three different one, and pigs part two. So I, I, I knew there was five tracks. I didn't know pigs were three of them, but I knew sheep and dogs were the other ones. Yeah, I knew dog was. I couldn't remember sheep. I was trying to hint at it, but wait, what? Oh, wow. There's a credit on here for the inflatable pig. Oh, yeah, that was an art installation. That's actually real. Oh, that's a photograph? That's an actual photograph. Okay. It's not edited in. Yeah, because I, I was looking for the thing that said um, cover designed by like Ergonomics or whatever the company was that did all their designs. No, that's the real deal. I think they still have it. <laughs> I, I don't know. Did they auction it off a while ago? 
Jeez. Oh yeah, because inside the gatefold there's a there's a picture of it. Yep. Huh, that's interesting. If you owned that factory, do you know how much that factory would be worth? Probably um quite a bit. I mean I imagine it was worth a lot at the time they took it to like like just like the rights to like use it as a filming location and stuff. And then you could yeah, say your movie be... was shot at where Pink Floyd like it's the Pink Floyd factory. It's the Pink Floyd factory where all of those children died from being overworked before they were the age of fourteen. <laughs> God, I was going to say the Pink Floyd Factory where Roger Waters beat the crap out of Sid Barrett. Oh, Jesus. Obligatory Roger Waters is just a huge piece of shit. Yeah. You have to do it every time you start talking about Pink Floyd. ACDC. I think there's like two songs on this album that aren't good. Which one is that? Back in Black? Yeah. I'm really disillusioned with ACDC. I like ACDC. I think their music's really good rock music. It is the only music that gets played on any radio station that has classic rock. Yep. Well, like when I'm driving anywhere and I turn on the radio, I can guarantee you at least a 50 50 chance that it's going to be playing one of three ACDC songs. This and it's, has... always e it's always either. Back in Black, yep. Highway to Hell, mm -hmm. Hell's Bells, or TNT. Always. Okay, so I hear... I don't hear Back in Black as much. They play Shoot to Thrill on Sirius all the time, so I hear it at work. Uh, what do you do for money, honey? And uh, you shook me all night long. But Have a Drink on Me, and Rock and Roll Ain't Noise Pollution, and Hell's Bells are like... Those are basically like S tier songs. The problem, they're so good and I just can't enjoy them anymore. When you come here, we should put this thing on the the Do you call it a record player or a turntable? I don't want to sound like a hipster. We should put on Hell's Bells and hook up all the speakers that I have to the deck, to the amp, and just let it play. Because... The rotational powered vinyl playing device. <laughs> this is why you would get along so well with me and Bert. <laughs> because like, because like this, like he'd look at it and he'd be like, oh, it's the Scorpions, Abigail Street. <laughs> <laughs> That's too dumb even for me. I would just get it wrong because I'm an idiot. Yeah. Oh, it's Hater Boy. Hater Boy. Oh, it's the enemies of Mr. Cairo. Like, stupid jokes like that. Also, the League Unlimited Orchestra. League Unlimited Orchestra? Yep. Don't know. I don't know, but they look awfully happy. We spent 15 minutes talking about good music, and now there's American Gigolo. Boy, don't That's you... an album? I only know that as a movie. Don't you love Blondie? I don't think I've listened... Oh, I, I mean, I'm sure I've listened to songs. I don't know Blondie, though. Call Me. That's actually an awesome song. Do I? What, how does that song go? Call me, call me anytime. Call me on the line. Call me for some overtime. I don't know if I've heard that. I you, must you, have. You have, you have heard it. I'm pretty sure every person who's alive has heard it. Probably. Ten hey, Ten Ten Nugent. Nugent. Okay, this is Stranglehold on it. Ted Nugent. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I don't know. It's just... It's good, but like... I just... Every time they play Ted Nugent, I'm more annoyed than anything else. <laughs> Barbara. No last name. Uh, Barbara Streisand? Oh, here's another Red Rider. 
Why are there, like, so many crappy duplicates? Like, couldn't we get, like, another Abbey Road or something? So many crappy duplicates, he says as he has two really good condition houses of the holy. And an eagle's. Wait. Is that hotel? Oh, no, that's... No. It's the long run. That's the one I have. Oh, okay. There's another lover boy, but it's not the lover boy. Yeah. We're not, I'm not going to know any of these Red Rider until we pull up uh, Lunatic Fringe. Oh, there's Highway to Hell. Hey, cool. You know what shocks me? Angus is still able to sing like he used to. Like, how has his voice just not given out completely? <sighs> Angus is the guitarist. Is he? Yeah. Wait, who's the singer? Ryan Johnson. That's not... I thought Angus was the singer. Corey is going to kick you in the dick. What the fuck? Somebody told me he was the singer. No. Uh, bon Scott was the original singer. And he died. And then they got... Brian Johnson! And Brian Johnson keeps singing. I do a spot-on impression of that. Um, like, I could go through an entire ACDC song and sound exactly like it. You got to do that for me at some point. I will um, absolutely okay. do that. I'm not, I'm not even joking. It's like not even as a joke. I'm like spot on with being able to sing like that. So everyone's like, oh, the Eagles, the long run. Oh. Heartache tonight. Like I've heard the long run before, but I couldn't tell you what it sounds like. I know Heartache tonight and I didn't know that was an Eagles song. I thought that was Don Henley. The, th the thing with the Eagles is that they were a really good band, but nobody knows them for anything other than Hotel California. New York Minute. Chug All Night. Jesus, uh, yeah, this is the guitarist. Jesus yes. Christ. <laughs> Who told me Angus was the singer? I'm trying to remember so I can go out and smack them. Oh. Uh. Okay, this had Girls Got Rhythm on it, too. That's a really good song. Yeah, that is a really good song. ACDC has such good music, and I fucking hate listening to it, and it sucks. Oh, you know what? Um, um, it's like Enter Sandman. Powerage. No, not Powerage. Oh, Powerage is okay. Um, Let There Be Rock. Like, Let There, Let Be, there rock Be Rock is, is probably the best ACDC song, in my opinion. That song is but absolutely amazing. so close to Hell's Bells. The rest of that album is actually really good. <sighs> okay. Let's get back to the shit. Yeah, let's get, we're, we're just going to talk about good music for like another two hours. <laughs> do you want to do dupe the Bad Company voice again? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that... That's the original Bad Company, right? Yeah. Oh, God. What did, what did that one sound like? Um, the shooting star. No, that was just like that was like borderline talking in that song. Yeah, on the original. Cause I'm bad, bad company. I can't deny. Oh, I screwed this up. Now I don't have an empty box to put these in. There's and Zed then there's Zed like top. the that's it top. Hey, it's Fandango though. That's cool. Um, there's a song on here that's a minute and nine seconds. Thanks, said Zed Top. Uh, oh, it's a medley. Um, wait, what? What songs does this have on it? Oh, it has Tush. Okay, that's it, basically. More heart. More heart. Oh, like a lot of heart. boy, it's the Greg Kin Band. I haven't heard of that. Yeah, they don't write them like they used to. Or they don't write them like that anymore, I guess I should say. Oh, that's not even on this album. Oh, yeah, okay, so they did a stupid thing where some of their albums, the kin is, like, part of the name. Like, this one's called Conspiracy. I think the other one's yeah. called Rock and Roll. Yeah. Yes, it did that up with a bunch of fucking albums, too. 
Here's David Bowie. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Um, it probably doesn't say on here. But I'm going to see if it does. What are the tracks on that Bowie album? Uh, Let's Dance. Ricochet, oh, well, that's... China Girl, Cat People, Without You. Modern oh, Love, that's, that's a really good Girl. album. Let's Dance. No, it doesn't say it. Is that a compilation? I don't think so. Stevie Ray Vaughan played the guitar on Let's Dance. And once you know that, know and you listen to it again, knowing that he played the guitar on that, you can hear it. But I no didn't, shit. I didn't notice it until somebody said it, and then I went and listened to it again right away. I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, that's definitely Stevie Ray Vaughan. Yeah, that was like before he was big. Uh, Led Zeppelin. That's cool. Led Zeppelin 3. Zep 3. And because it's the vinyl, I can do this. Which is awesome. I heard the noise that was making before the video <laughs> showed what you were doing, and I didn't know what was happening. I'm like, you scratching yourself <laughs> through a pair of jeans? Another More Fleetwood Mac. Another Fleetwood Mac that's not okay. Of okay side two. Um, <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, it's it's, it's, it, dangerous it's, territory. it's the three letter people. Oh, <laughs> why? <laughs> why? Oh, you know what? What? Oh, no, never mind. It's CCR. Yeah, John Fogarty. Okay, so it's either John Fogarty or it's CCR. But either way, that's weird. More Alan Parsons Project. Led Zeppelin 2. Nice. You've got the full Led Zeppelin discography. Discography, right? Good job, brain. Pretenders. John Cougar Mellencamp. Hall and Oates. There it is. When I saw this, I looked at it and I went, "You know what? I bet this has heat of the moment on it." And sure enough, it has heat of the what? moment on it. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, Asia. Oh, God, I couldn't read what that said. I thought it said Ava. Oh. I couldn't make that with the eye. Hey, look, it's not Journey. Hey, Earth, Wind, and Fire, though. My brother would love that album. Ew. Oh, there's one for you. Duran, Duran. <laughs> As I explode your Box ears. Box of Frogs? <laughs> yelling into the mic. sounds again. like a fun album. I didn't get what you said. Say it again. I said there's one for you. Oh. Oh, this has Jeff Beck on it. Cool. Uh, hey, Bad Company. But this is actually the album that had Bad Company on it. The original? It's awesome. I think. Doesn't. Oh, yeah, it is. There's the Piss album. <laughs> Hey! Hey! <laughs> what what band do you think this is? What what band do you think this is? Is that the Beatles? Are you gonna think about it for 30 seconds and then say the Beatles? <laughs> that was that might have been one of the funniest things I've ever done. The great thing is, is now people watching this, are, that's going to be completely out of context. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, we have the original video. Oh, like, yeah, that's Paul McCartney, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's the other? And a bunch of starving children, my yeah. favorite. Um, I think there's two copies. Is this is either a double album or there's two of this final in here. I think it's a double, because mine was really thick, too. Oh, nice. Yeah, just go ahead and...
brag about that. Not that it usually isn't. Oh, there's... Is that Luke Skywalker? No, it's sports. Because, you know, pool. No, the guy on the in the face of the last album when you opened it. Oh. Um. Oh, wow. It's cross-eyed Luke Skywalker. It, it, that looks kind of like a young Mark Hamill. Sports! Well, good thing it's not water sports. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no comment. That would have been a hell of an album. <laughs> Guaranteed to get wet listening to that one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> There's only one sports team in this whole thing. It's the San Francisco Giants. Sports, but only the sports I like. Sports, but a pool table, a baseball team, and there's football on the TV. I mean, sports is a sports is a sport. Jesus Christ! Sports is a, is a sport. Sports is a sport. <laughs> oh, there's a record for you. What is that? <coughs> oh, it's a lot of men. <laughs> no wonder you have that in your collection. Oh, that's a lot of man. Oh, also, um, no, it's just the Jake Isles band. It's not worth putting back up there. Is it centerfold? Uh, no, actually, it's not. Oh, gross. Oh, okay. Remember, remember how I said we were gonna get nudity? <laughs> the the other side of this has breasts on it. Um, there's a single. That was just in there. <laughs> hey, that's it's gonna be us in ten years. You be forty. You be forty. Oh, oh, shut up. <laughs> Bob Seeger. We're gonna be young. There's forever, rumors. Though. Oh my God, he is had... it Seeger or Seeger? Seeger. There's balls Seager. in this. Oh. Balls. You're right. Um. Oh my God. And uh, whoever that is, they gave him some speed before they took that picture. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Look at the face. This has dreams go your own way and the chain on it. Go your own way. I wonder if that's Mick Fleetwood. Elvin Bishop. Juke joint jump. Alright. There's oh, Trace Ombres. Cool. Didn't know I had that. Trey oh. Ombres. Oh, it's Grand Funk Railroad. We're a Canadian band. Oh, and there's uh, the Rolling Stones. I'm trying to think of a way to acknowledge that shitty joke you made, but it, I'm struggling. I'm really underslept right now. That's good. I stayed up all night to see the fucking moon because it was special. Ten there's a uh, non ACDC TNT. Oh. Is she going to explode all over me? I hope not. Uh, there's more Jay Giles band in here. I just noticed that when I was picking it up. If you got Centerfold, then that's fucking awesome, though. Uh, there is the Directory of Akai Service Stations. And... That's... Why, why do you have that? Because we have an Akai stereo somewhere. Oh, the Windows. Oh, that's the brand. I thought it was, like... I don't know what I thought that was. There's Tommy. It's Tommy. Don't, don't need to look at that any longer than we already have. Is Tommy even any good? No, it's just overrated. That's what I thought. I know there's a movie for it. Like, it's a full rock opera. Scorpions. Um... 
Nope, I don't think that has any songs on it. Big Country. Yeah, this is this is the Big Country album. I didn't know it was called The Crossing. I thought it was a self-title. <sighs> the Kinks. If we started talking about our kinks on this, we would get banned really quick. Well, you've already talked about one of mine. Whoa, well, okay. You're going... What are you doing? Are you out of your fucking mind, Nil? <laughs> what? You... <laughs> That was just a general <laughs> joke. I wasn't specifying oh, you. No. You're telling oh, the no. whole world you're into weird shit now. Now, now I need to pull up something you said before. Um, uh, oh, you, you said your town. I'm totally into towns. You're <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm totally into small you're, towns. No, you're total. You're totally into the singer of your mix. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the kings okay. we've been talking about. <laughs> hey. Okay. We, oh, need, we, need to, we need to keep this more vanilla. Let's find a shitty white rapper. <laughs> we can't be talking about the kinks all the time. There's too many kinks. This is what this is what happens when you're raised on the internet. I know, right? And society is a giant fuck. There's electric light orchestra. Hey, yellow is always good. Uh, <laughs> except for when they're not. <laughs> Does ELO have bad albums? Does ELO have When a I hear good people song? talk about ELO, I only hear them just gush about how they're the best band ever. Okay, can you name an ELO song right now? No, I don't listen to ELO. Okay. That's. But you could name a Jay Giles band song. <laughs> yeah, exactly one. Oh no. <laughs> we were talking about the Kinks, and now oh. it's hard. <laughs> I'm too hard for this. Good music does this to me. I'm sorry, Nell. You, sh you shouldn't have to look at this. Even though I know you like to. <laughs> oh, hey. There we go. This has what? centerfold on it. It does? Yep. Okay. I'm just going to let you read that. Super dicks. No! Super vapes. <laughs> ah, you're making this stream way too 2023. It could be, it could just be a really impressive dude named Richard. <laughs> oh boy. This is, this is derailing so fast. Let's, let's, let's talk about Burton Cummings. Oh, is he though? Hey, there we go. Uh, I did it. Ba this is this is the Bachman Turner Turner over Golem. <laughs> the Bachman Turner over Golem. <laughs> oh. There was a Nazareth a Nazareth one that I just put away without showing it. I don't think the Big Chill. That's all right. What is that? Um, it appears to be a movie with. I yeah, with, obviously um, it's a movie with cocktail people. Discount Billy Joel, Family Photo, No Pants Woman, and Almost Crying Woman on the Stairs, and No Pants Guy in a Almost Michigan crying shirt. Almost Woman on the Stairs. More Jay Giles band. Why is there so much Jay Giles band? <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, hello, Burton. Who's that? <laughs> That's a whole lot of cum. <laughs> Oh, more Little River Band. Oh. Okay, this might be the under the gun I was thinking of. Though it's called Poco, so I don't think so. Well, it's perfect for where you are. Yeah. Huh. I know I've, I've meant to look up where Poco is from. Oh, there's the best, best of, the of the Bee Gees. Still doesn't have Staying Alive on it. This is the Moody Blues. Oh, so speaking of, uh, I, I just out of curiosity, I looked up where the 10 CCs got their name from, and, uh, and I was very enlightened. Oh, I didn't, I don't know that. 
You don't know that? No. Um, apparently, it's the average amount of semen produced by a man when they come. Because of course, that's what you would name your band. This is this is pure. This isn't this isn't like sensual, lewd, sexual talking going on right now. We're discussing the name of a band named after a scientific result. You got to specify. Give the people what they want. I don't think the people want to know what you want. <laughs> they give the people what they want. The kinks. It's, oh, we've got all that in right there in the title. Tarantula? Tarantula? Taraculoot Club? Parachute? Oh, maybe. The Parachute Club. Tarantula? That's what it looked like. I don't know. Oh, there's a song on here called Innuendo. Well, wow, you picked some good we, albums. We haven't, to talk we haven't about. been doing any of that. Oh, there's Meatloaf. No, we... Hey. Hey, Meatloaf. Out of hell. If you're watching this, here's you. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? I just like referencing old jokes that we've made. <laughs> the old and the useless. Oh. Who was it that died by driving their car into a pool? Was that Keith Moon? I have no idea. Oh. Anyway, um... Plasmatics made a joke about it. Boy, that looks... Oh, there's almost boobs on that one. What year is this? Good lord. 1980. Yeah. Only imagine the nightmares you would get looking at the cover of that album if you were high on acid or something. Yeah. <sighs> Wings at the speed... At the Beatles at the speed of sound. Okay, I, I didn't realize that was a really stylized S on the disco album. I, honest to God, thought the band's name or the album name was Dicko. <laughs> D-I-C-C-O. Oh. <laughs> it looks like that. Yep. <laughs> Had me danger. Oh, shit, that's the No Respect album. Yeah. More Jake Isles band. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yay. It's called Full House, and that is not a full house. Hang on, no, show it again. No, we can't. We we're already at breakfast in America. <coughs> Which I don't know. I... Oh, those are those are some awfully sus buildings in the background there. Yeah, and it's from an awfully suck band. <laughs> Chicago. Chicago. 25 or 6 to 4. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's a greatest hits. That's why. Trooper. <clears throat> yep. Hot shots. Yeah, the stream's been full of them. That's Trooper. Andy Gibb Shadow <laughs> Dancing That's the most like generic looking 70s rocker Here's the yellow's Holy greatest smoke. hits Yep I don't know any of those Boy don't you hate the Vietnam War Oh god! Oh, I played Hotline Miami in hundred percent it. So that that song's even deeper than that. Oh really? Yeah, there's a whole subplot. Huh. 
and that 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 song is a code to get into something oh glory days is on here <clears throat> okay now i know that glory days is bruce springsteen oh really cool there's the, more of the cars and barry manilow <laughs> For whatever reason, there's Barry Manilow. Live. It's Barry Manislow. <laughs> oh, okay, we got 15 minutes to get through the last couple of these. Whitney Houston. Uh, the music Wait, from Houston's... Against All Odds. The music from Against All Odds. Yeah. Like, like finishing this stream. Just against all odds. Bonnie Tyler. Oh! Okay. Whoa! Didn't know that was in here. The Beatles. <clears throat> okay, is that the white... Does that have a sticker on the front? Or no. is that a re-release of the White Album? No. That, there's no sticker on here. No, okay, so that's a re-release. The original, the original White sticker. Album is weird. What's that? Oh. No, tell me. Okay, so the original White Album cover was the Beatles. It was a picture of the Beatles in, like, a meatpacking plant. Just standing around, and they were holding a bunch of, like, bloody baby doll parts. Oh, okay. That were dismembered. Uh, and people, the, the producers realized that probably wasn't going to sell too well and look too good on the shelves, so they changed it to just white. Yeah. But for the first batch of albums that had already been pressed, they ended up taking a big white sticker and putting it over the cover. Oh. So any, like, original pressings of the white album have a big white sticker covering that up on the front, and they're worth a fortune. Huh. I wonder if the edge of this is torn because somebody was trying to see if it was a sticker. It's possible. Yeah. That's interesting. Foreigner. Oh, okay. I saw this, and for a second, I kind of hoped it was Steel Panther. Because that would just have made this... First glance. God... From the weird angle, I thought it said first dragon. Yeah. Uh, I don't know any of those. I said I was going to do my entire music collection and I showed off all the CDs, but we're definitely not going to have time to get to those. No, we're not going to get to that. And that's good because if we got to the CDs, we would just be gushing about metal bands the entire time. Yep. Actually, there are there is one that I'm going to show. Wilson Pickett, Pickett in the Pocket. Yeah, that's an that's a record. Caribou, Elton John. Okay. The you ever just pulled your pants up so far it hurts? <laughs> it's it's like an old person thing. Yeah, but Elton John only recently became an old person. Elton John only recently a gay person. <laughs> yes, but he was always a gay person. Yep. Tom Petty. And the Heartbreakers. That's a good album. It has Refugee. And a bunch of other ones, but Refugee is just such a good song. Billy Joel. More Joel. Is that Piano Man? No, it's big. Sh this is on with Big Shot. Golden earring. Golden earring. Oh boy! Wow, that's a name I haven't heard in ages. Oh, there's the piano man. Don't shoot him. But I'm I'm shocked that it was actually on there. Aria Speedwagon. You know, High infidelity. <laughs> yes, both of us live right in that zone. 
See, I dyslexia that, and I read it as in high fidelity. And I was about to make a joke until you said that. Oh, hey. It's Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Old. What? Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Old. Crosby moving Nash and Old. Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young is the name of it. And I was trying to make a joke, but I've said it. I was also trying now. to make a joke, the same kind of stupid joke you've been making, but Crosby moves, stills and old, whatever the fuck. Stand back. <laughs> this, no. the, this, see, see, this canon is all our shitty jokes, and it's going to go off. <laughs> all over someone's face, too. Okay, so here is a uh, guy rocking out, and view of the stage from the back and it's probably part of this but there's two records in here already so is it a double release i don't know but i'm gonna keep it like this doobie brothers could that be an insert well it has a record in it i don't know it, no, it says two on it, but... Oh, okay. There we go. Here's a really good one. And that that cannon is embossed on here. That's so cool. Yeah, that, all that's raised. So the, oh, the, the darker cool. it is on the image, the more it's raised. So the cannon is more raised than the wheels. That's another reason I really wish we got 12-inch CDs. If Music Laserdisc had been a thing, we would have had these, and we would have never been able to do anything. Bob Dalrymple? Boy, that's a name. Sings and plays Precious Memories. Pat, Pat Benatar. Pat Bene is that no, the... no, that's not Pat Benatar. That's P A T B E N A T A R. Okay, we have precious memories and precious time. We do. Yeah. Oh, you were talking about the album. Yeah. Sorry, I, I misunderstood. <laughs> Simply red. Okay. Simply red, and there's no red on the album. Except for the title. Gino Except Vanelli. The title. Oh, I didn't know this was in here. Oh, that would have been the perfect one to have come up last. I don't recognize that. What is that? Actually, you know what? I've already made a joke about this one, so technically this is the last one. This is um, Hellbound Train. Have you not heard this song? I don't think I have. Oh, that's such a good song. I'll take a Holy listen Holy shit, there's boobs. Wow. Okay, that is something. That is a... That is some album artwork. Holy shit. Yeah. Wow. Wow. You know, maybe there was a reason all those crazy old people thought music was getting satanic. <laughs> you know, maybe they had a point. Have, has anyone ever considered that? Also, all of this is like white, and there's a dark green frog right there. Oh, cool. Okay, we got 10 minutes. I wasn't even going to show these piles of ass because these are all the um, paper fold ones <laughs> that you hate that I hate but there's two things here that's phantom power actually hang on now that we're getting into CD land I have to do this 
Hang on, can we can we stop? I have to go use the bathroom really bad. Like stop totally? I or... well you said ten minutes left. Yeah. I'm gonna use the bathroom, that's gonna be two minutes. <laughs> okay. And we're gonna have eight minutes. So come so come back. I have eight minutes of content. Unless you wanna do both at the same time. No. I can bring the microphone in with me. No, just go now and come back. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna mute myself, hang on. Oh, and I have to mute myself in the Discord. I'm back. Good. I just took a look at my screen, and it says I gained two followers from this, which is fine, I guess. Uh, these are all the old, the, these are the noteworthy non-vinyls that I pulled out. So this is Phantom Power, which I want one of these as a 12-inch, because something about that I just love. As an album, just the art. old turn cranks and everything, dials. That's what I'm thinking of. Turn cranks, <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then inside is a power meter, which is cool. It's an ohm meter. Looks like it's an ohm meter, but anyway, that's neat. This is the uh, hardwired that I got for going to the concert. Yeah. And I was going to write something. I was going to write whatever you wanted on this and mail it to you. Oh, could you even afford to do that? No, but seeing as how you're going to come <laughs> here anyway, I'm probably just going to like draw a bunch of dicks on it and then be like, here Hang you go. On. Here's a Hang gift. on, open that again. Let me see. Uh, all the faces. Oh. Because like, there's a lot of faces a lot a lot of faces yeah There's you're not even on the you're not on camera nil well where's the where did the shit stack go this one is the one that i actually bought and Wait, you have two yeah Oh, what the fuck? No, actually, no, I think it's the other way around. I think I bought this one, and they sent me this one for going to the concert. Oh, that's really And this cool. this has even more faces in it. Even more faces. And then underneath here, there's more faces. Under each one of these, there's faces. And then under the bonus CD, okay, yeah, these have faces under them, too. And even under the bonus CD, there's face. Well, there's face. Wow. That's the best Lars Ulrich's looked in years. Yeah, I know, right? Also, this is specifically for someone who mentioned Psychedelic Rock. Almond Brothers Band with a big mushroom on it. Yeah, that's kind of a giveaway. Yeah. And <laughs> there's the man. 
God, I can't. I'm so glad I found that exact same album on vinyl yesterday. Yeah. I'm so glad I fucking found that. You're yeah. You're welcome for me. Telling yeah. Thank you, you for back. yelling at me to go back and pick up all those Elvis vinyls. Uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble on tape. Dire Straits, Money for Nothing, which is weird because it's not Brothers in Arms, but it's got. You have a machine head cassette. Hang on. Okay, so this is like a compilation called Money for Nothing. Which I just bought it because this effect that they used during the video is one of the coolest things that I've seen, and I've never seen it replicated. No? No. What is it, just glowing? Well, it's only certain parts of them are glowing. Like, like it's only his shirt, his headband, his armbands, and the guitar. So it's like they... It's like they, cr oh, it's glaring as hell. Uh, it's like they chroma keyed it, but didn't. It's real. You got to see yeah. the video. It's a really cool effect. I, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Yes, I have Machine Head on cassette as well. I also have it on CD, but I didn't go get the CD. Um, it sucks because this takes up so much space. It would have been cool if they hadn't kept this and then stretched this out to fill the thing. <laughs> Because it would have just made it even worse. But what sucks is this has no back. So the actual machine head is nowhere on the tape. And I'm pretty sure the CD is also like this. It doesn't have this on the back. So, like... Oh, I hate record companies so much sometimes. <laughs> hey, let's let's slap our Warner Warner Brothers logo on everything. Gotta gotta make sure people know where it's coming from so that they don't know not to steal from you. Did you know this is the Pearl Jam album? Is that the Pearl Jam album? This is the Pearl is Jam that the album. Pearl Jam album? Yeah. The one that has Alive and like twelve other songs on it. That was that was really good. I tried to do eleven minus one, and I came up with twelve. Close, close enough. Yep. This is the first CD that I got when I started going to the thrift stores. Yeah. I got this. I don't know if I got this the same day I got the red Wii. But the only reason I started going to thrift stores was because I got a. Uh, three days suspension for something at work and I was living near a thrift store so I got completely bombed and walked to the thrift store and drunkenly bought painkiller because it was the first thing I saw <laughs> and I think I also bought the red Wii at the same time it's the best drunk mistake you've ever made I know but look at this well I think wasn't it that I was talking about that how cool thrift so stores were cool. for a while Yes, you were, but like twice, and, and then I went, the and this was the first thing that I found, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to keep doing this. That's so good. You found so much awesome stuff thrifting, though. Do you know what Merciful Fate is? Uh, barely. King Diamond, literally preaching Satan. For, oh, oh. for like two decades. Like, this music is legitimately satanic worship <laughs> oh. okay um no there's not really much about it in here um i found this at the um christian crossroads hospice oh you told me about store. this i have a picture of me holding this cd up in front of the nameplate of the place and I took it up to the counter, and this lovely little Christian woman charged me like a dollar or something for it. And she's she's like she's like you have a nice day, and I'm like you have no idea what is going on you right made, now. You made that place ten percent holier by leaving. The first song of this is literally called Lucifer. Yeah, but when you're like a hardcore Christian Catholic person, you you automatically assume it's stuff denouncing it. 
Yeah, I can. Yeah, I know every single one of these songs. I basically listen to yes. I basically listen to Merciful Fate's discography every October. It's just kind of like one of those things I do. Fifteen Men and a Bottle of Rum is a really good one. Um, Cthulhu is literally satanic chanting. (laughs) Um, This okay. This song is called Dead Time, and it's exactly what you think it is. (laughs) 